During the hurricane, NJTV was noticeably absent in hurricane coverage. Um, and whereas NJN, I think, had they been around, would have been on 24-7 to, to cover that. Yet the legislature was unable to prevent the giveaway of NJN to uh, Channel 13. Should this be rectified, and, and how, or what, what can we do to ensure that New Jersey gets the type of localized coverage that it deserves? I was very vocal, but excuse me, I was very vocal, uh, you know, with the cancer getting rid of uh, NJN. I, I thought that's a, that was a loss to New Jersey and its residents. Um, I believe that, you know, that station provided the, the resources and the news um, to New Jerseyans as it impacts them, not the Philadelphia market, not the New York market. You know, how do we rectify that, you know, besides, uh, you know, pleading with the governor? Um, you know, how can we do that legislatively if we can? Uh, you know, that's, that's discussions that, you know, hopefully can take place. Um, everybody says that privatizing it and going out and outsourcing, uh, you know, public sector workers is, is more economical and better for the residents. This is one point case where we see that it's not. Um, recently, the New York State Legislature passed a law that allows same-sex marriage. Um, and this was done with the help of Republicans in New York. Um, Governor Christie has already indicated that he would veto a marriage equality law, yet Senator Weinberg is contemplating reintroducing uh, same-sex marriage uh, in the uh, legislature. What's your position on marriage equality, and do you think there's enough Republican support to override a veto? I don't believe that there is enough Republican support to override the veto. I've seen um, the veto override votes go on, on what I call a simple bill, um, you know, go the other way. and. You know, People change their minds in four days, you know. So I don't believe a you know a, a vote on same-sex marriage uh, would um, come about. Right now, I don't think that um, the focus of the legislature is, is on uh, that issue. I know it was before in the past, uh, and I think the importance of, of getting people back to work and their families. But this is an important issue for a lot of people. And from going door to door and talking to people over the past four years, um, it sways both ways. Um, on whether or not we, have, we should be looking to fix the rights of these civil um, unions or allow same-sex marriages. I've sat down with both sides and listened um, adamantly uh, to both sides. Um, right now, if I had to give my decision and my say on what to do with this, um, because it's so important to New Jersey and the diversity of New Jersey, I believe it should come up to, uh, on the referendum vote in November. Let the people of the state of New Jersey decide. This way, the governor won't have the availability or shouldn't have the availability um, to change his mind and do directive whatever they decide to do. In, in New Jersey, we have a full-time governor battling a part-time legislature. Um, would a full-time legislature better serve the citizens and enhance our checks and balances? I thought about that. Uh, yes, I believe a full-time legislature would. Uh, I look across the river into Pennsylvania and they have a full-time legislature. Um, their legislative districts in Pennsylvania, I think they represent for their version of, of the General Assembly as a state representative, uh, they represent 62,000 people. They're full-time. Um, versus here in New Jersey, in the legislature, uh, the Assembly, General Assembly represents 220,000 approximately. Um, you know, so they're focused on uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, they thought Pennsylvania financially had the resources uh, to make it work, to make it happen. Um, it takes out any other outside influences. Um, so you're focused on what you're doing, not just going about doing your day job and then doing the, the, the job of the General Assembly in the nights and evenings and weekends and, you know, trying to focus on your day job to support your family as well. Um, one last question. Sure. Um, what are some of the other initiatives that you would like to see the legislature tackle after the election? Right now, my focus is on jobs, jobs, jobs. Um, we got to get New Jersey back to work. Uh, we have to give New Jersey uh, residents a stability in the workplace. This way, they can then have stability in their house and stability in the community. I think once we get our revenues back up, we get people back to work. We can then try to we can be assisting the, the communities, the townships, the school districts better financially than we have before in the past, so that we can lower the local property taxes, assist them um, to lowering the local property taxes. Uh, Right now, there's a lot of there's a lot of anger in the, in the populace, and it's not an anger of resentment; it's an anger of fear, and fear of not being able to provide for their families, and fear for their future. 
uh, and see it in the eyes of men and women um, day in and day out. And that's what we have to work on. Okay. Are you optimistic? Yes, I am have to be optimistic. Okay. I have to. We have to make this happen. It's not a question of, of uh, if we do, it's when we do. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.